Often while working in ZBrush, you're going to raise and lower the resolution of your model. Let's take a look at how we can do that. I'm going to open up the shelf over on the right-hand side, go up to my tool palette, and click on the swatch and drag that over to the right. I'll click on the tool icon, and again, select a sphere 3D. Click and drag in the center of my canvas to draw it in. Move up to the edit button so that I can start to rotate it and then I'll move back over to the tool palette so I can click Make Poly Mesh 3D. Now you'll also notice in your tool palette you have this pull down option here called Geometry. If I open that up you're going to notice that there's a button in here labeled Divide. Now before we hit that Divide button let's take a look at two things. First you'll notice that you have a button here called Frame. This Frame button will turn on the wireframe for the current object or tool that you're working with. This gives you a better understanding of the poly count so that we can see the actual polygons on the surface. Next, let's see how many polygons we're actually working with. If you go up to your tool icon and just let your cursor hover, you'll notice that you get the amount of polygons right here. So currently I'm working with 8192 polygons. Let's scroll back down to where it says geometry. Now I'm going to hit this divide button. When I hit the Divide button, it basically multiplies everything by 4. I'm going to turn off Wireframe. I'll scroll back up to the Tool option, or the Tool icon, I should say. And when we hover over it, again, we'll see the poly count has raised up. Now, instead of 8,000, we're working with 32,000 polygons. This way, we can do much finer sculpting as we work. So as you work, you might stretch your model out so far that you start to see the polygons again and you're going to want to soften that up by dividing. So you can see this is quite stretched out. Again, I'm going to hit Divide. Now you'll notice I'm at subdivision level 3. I'm going to divide again, and then one more time. Let's check our poly count. Again, I'll hover over the tool icon, and now you'll notice I'm working with over 2 million polygons. What's very interesting about dividing your model inside ZBrush is that you can do sculpting scroll back down with this slider back to a lower resolution, do some additional sculpting on a lower level, and then scroll back up. This nonlinear ability to sculpt on all different levels of resolution gives us a lot of control over how we're working with our model. Later on in different tutorials we'll use this more effectively, but I did want you to be aware of where you can divide your model. Again, don't forget that the keyboard shortcut for divide is Control D.